If you've been watching me on this channel for any significant amount of time, then you know I love the Sigma FP. Yeah, it has fantastic image quality, and that's the thing I've talked about most. But what I haven't talked about that much are kind of the intangible reasons that the camera is so great for me. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels in my hands when I hold it. I love flipping that little switch on the side of the EVF and looking down into it to check out the moment I'm about to capture. And I just love how darn small and cute this thing is. But it's far from a perfect camera. I can't record UHD raw video internally. There's no in-body image stabilization either. And while a lot of people out there are doing everything they can to make this thing bigger and more cinema camera-like to solve those issues with cages and monitors and huge batteries and the like, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you need. But I just wanted the thing to stay the way it is. Retain that unique aesthetic that made me fall in love with this camera in the first place. And every single iteration of my personal Sigma FP rig and setup has been aimed at achieving that. And now, thanks in large part to a company called 52 Weeks, the sponsor for today's video, I think I finally found my perfect everyday carry rig for the Sigma FP. One that's given me everything I ever wanted for this camera. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about what's important to me in a Sigma FP rig, all the iterations I've gone through along the way on my journey to perfection, and finally, the rig that I've arrived at after over a year and a half of tinkering. I bought the Sigma FP back in late 2022 to be the primary camera on a trip my wife and I were taking to Thailand. Because of the issues I mentioned earlier and some additional ones, there were a lot of factors that became immediately important to me in trying to construct a good everyday carry rig for the FP. Number one, improved ergonomics, as in a grip or something to hold on to other than the perfectly smooth and cornered edges native to the Sigma FP's design. This was an easy one to solve. I picked up the Nicey Rig half cage with its very tactily tactilely with its tactilely satisfying rubber grip so I could pick up this bad boy with some confidence every time. Number two on the list was something to assist with better handheld video capture in light of the no in-body image stabilization. Typically I'd solve an issue like this with something like added weight, but instead in this case I went with purchasing the EVF attachment. Not only did it give me a third point of contact to improve the handheld operation of the camera, but it also gave me a better means of monitoring the image. It's also low-key my favorite part of operating the FP. I just love using it. It's the next two items on the Sigma FP rig checklist that I've continually had issues solving. Number three, a practical external SSD solution so I could record UHD raw video while still retaining the minimalist aesthetic of the original FP design. And number four, minimal cabling to keep the whole setup nice and tight. My first attempt at solving these issues was a little janky, to put it kindly. I used a one terabyte Samsung T5 SSD that I just stuck to the bottom of the camera with Velcro in the most awkward way. The Velcro just kept coming loose and, and melting off actually in the heat and humidity and the whole thing just became like kind of a sticky mess. In addition, the SSD cable I was using, which I had originally used for with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, protruded out annoyingly from the side of the EVF and just kind of like extended the footprint on that side in, in a really annoying way. This whole first setup, while it worked, I mean, yeah, I was able to capture some great footage with it. It was just a chore to maintain. Future iterations didn't fare much better. I tried a proper SSD bracket from small rig, but it wasn't very practical. It either bulked up the camera too much or made it nearly impossible to access the battery door. I tried a bunch of USB-C cables as well. They were either too long or too short. Recently, I tried a rigging solution that eliminated the need for a USB cable completely from Dark Power Labs, but it was only designed to use over the EV I couldn't use it without it, so that was a minus. And wherever I did use it, it always caused a weird cricket-like squeaking noise in the audio capture. So I eventually had to abandon that option as well. It got to the point where I pretty much gave up on trying to use an SSD with the FP, and I resorted to just shooting 12-bit 1080 to an SD card, which was fine. I mean, the 12-bit 1080 coming out of this thing is beautiful, but it was a compromise at the end of the day. It wasn't what I really wanted. What I really wanted was to use the FP to its fullest potential. And what that meant to me was the ability to capture fantastic, high quality, cinematic video in a small, minimalist camera package. I had pretty much given up hope on all of that until one day, I got an email that would change everything. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, 52 Weeks. In the words of owner Matt Fitzgerald, 52 Weeks is a company that makes creator accessories to drive routine creation. I love that. To that end, he's created the Sigma FP Arca Swiss bottom plate. 
a super sleek, lightweight, and ultra practical solution for holding an SSD for the FP, enabling you to record beautiful 12-bit UHD Cinema DNG RAW video without adding any unnecessary bulk to your FP rig. With only one screw securing the plate to the quarter tony attachment point on the bottom of the FP body, this plate feels super sturdy when installed. It also has a nice little alignment nub thingy here that fits into the small hole opposite the battery door end on the bottom of the FP here. So lining up the plate is as simple as can be. And the SSD enclosure slides in with the most satisfying click at the very end. Top it off with a perfectly sized 20 centimeter right angle USB-C cable, which makes the cabling feel all but non-existent. And you've got yourself a perfect everyday carry crate. I should mention that the one terabyte NVMe SSD from Samsung that I'm using and the Orico SSD enclosure are sold separately. But don't worry, I'll leave links for everything you need to try out this setup for yourself in the description below. And I highly recommend that you do because at only 46 grams, this Arca Swiss bottom plate is as petite and minimal as the FP itself. Another great thing about it is that while I almost always use the EVF attachment with the FP, you can utilize the Arca Swiss bottom plate with or without it making this entire setup even more pocketable when the situation calls for it. Something I was missing in other third-party accessory options like this in the past. Did I mention that the battery door remains perfectly accessible with the plate installed? So nice. It makes swapping batteries quick and easy, with the added bonus of giving you another chance to enjoy that oh-so-satisfying drive slide-in. To top it all off, this whole setup fits nicely into a small camera bag without having to break it down with room for an extra lens to spare. I tried out this rig on a recent trip to England, and I can safely say that it was an amazing travel setup. The plate, the drive, the enclosure, and the USB cable didn't give me any issues at all, and I was able to capture some amazing candid moments and memories with family and friends. I was able to take it out at a moment's notice to document life without interrupting it, which was perfect. This is everything I've ever wanted for the Sigma FP. I didn't fall in love with the Sigma FP because of the specs. In terms of frills, it has none. I fell in love with it because of how special and fun of a camera it feels for me. The reasons I keep coming back to the FP to this day are the same reasons I'm excited about this simple but excellent little bracket from 52 Weeks. Like the FP itself, it, it feels like it was created with a deep love and respect for what we want in the tools we use as creators and enthusiasts. It's just nice to see. Is this my perfect everyday carry rig for the Sigma FP? You know, I think so, maybe. The thing about perfection is uh, you're always chasing it. What I can tell you is I think it's safe to say that I'm done searching for at least a little while. Don't forget, if you wanna try out this fantastic piece of gear for yourself, I'll leave a link to the bracket and links to everything else I used in the setup that I discussed today in the description below. If you do end up trying it out, I'd love to hear your experience in the comments. That's all I've got for you today, Creative Fam. Until next time, keep creating, keep sharing, and I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, thanks, bye.